Hi everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how we can understand uh, using the conversion factor to convert. Now, in the previous tutorial, I did not use the conversion factor. I simply understand that, okay, this is what we get, what we got from the last example. So at the very beginning, I was posing the question of, okay, one meter is equal to how many millimeters? And we understood the fact that milli, the small letter m, stands for 10 to the negative 3 power or 1 over 1000. So by understanding the meaning of equal sign, the concept of equality, we figure out that this number should be a thousand. So we are just using substitution, substituting 10 to the negative 3 or 1 over a thousand into this mini and we figure out the number. Now in other examples or in your classroom, your teacher may ask you to do one thing that is requiring to use the use of conversion factor. So let me show you how to use this example since we knew how to do it already and I'm going to make use of this example to show you how we could have done this with the use of conversion factor. Now to make the question a little bit more different and a little bit more challenging I'm going to change this question to, to uh, 25 meters. Okay, 25 meters. And I would like to change this 25 meters to millimeters. And so what we need to do is to come up with a conversion factor. So we multiply by a conversion factor. This is called a conversion factor. And now I'm going to write this down first and then I'm going to pose some questions for you. So what I'm going to do is this. Okay. So this is how you do it. And then uh, uh, you do some uh, simple math that you've learned in middle school or algebra one. You s cancel out the uh, common terms, meter, meter. They they are the same, so you cancel them out. So you have twenty five thousand meter meters. Okay. Now that looks extremely simple for you since you understand what happened to this one. So we change from one to twenty five, so it of course turns to twenty five thousand. Now, I'm going to talk about something very conceptual here and I would like you to pay attention so that you understand what you're doing here. Now, my first question to, uh, to ask you is this. We call this the conversion factor. Okay, we call this the conversion factor. What is a conversion factor? How do we create a conversion factor? Okay, that's the main question. How do we know what to put in here? Because that seems to be a lot of many students' question of how do we come up with the conversion factor? What should we write? Many students freak out or they just went blank on the, this, the creation, the, the generation of this conversion factor. So we're going to take a look at here, the conversion factor. Now, according to mathematics, you cannot just amplify or shrink a specific value unless it tells you to do so. Now in this case I'm just asking you to convert 25 meters to some number in millimeters. Okay? And now going back to the understanding of the equal sign, what do we say? We say that we said that what we if we have an equal sign, it means whatever on the left is equal to the should equal to whatever on the right. Okay? Now we pretty much understood what happened here. They are the same thing. Okay? One meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. And if we use the same analogy, well, since we changed from the 1 to 25, then it should be 25,000 millimeters. So what's going on with this conversion factor? How do we put, why do we put some stuff in the middle of the calculation? And how do we know how to put it in here? So that becomes a major, major, major question. Okay. Now, some teachers, some teachers would tell you this. Okay, you are going to put whatever unit you want on top in the numerator, and whatever unit you do not want in the denominator, so that you can cancel out. 
that seems the procedure. It's a very standard procedure. Many students follow this, but I can bet you this. Many students don't understand why they're doing this. So I'm going to tell you why you're doing this. What we understood right here is this. 25 meters is equal to 25,000 millimeters, okay? Now, if these two terms are the same, what is the value of this fraction? What are we multiplying indeed? Okay, so that's the question. Now, if they are equal, if they are equal, that means this fraction must not change this value. So we are not making the, this number bigger or smaller. We are not. We are just changing the look of this value. Now, from your elementary school math, okay, we are talking about we are talking about elementary school math, not anything in advanced algebra or whatever calculus. No, elementary school math. Whatever times one equals to whatever number you start with. So these two values are equal to each other. That means this is equal to one. Now, the next question that may come to your mind is that how does that equal to one? I don't see how they are equal to one. They are not the same. And that must be something else. I see a thousand here, I see a one here. So apparently the numerator is bigger. This is many students' misconception when they do dimension analysis or we talk about unit conversion because they only focus on the numbers and never understand what the units are. Now, let's go back to here. This is the equality we previously established and we, are, we agree with this equality. And we are putting this equality in this conversion factor. Okay, we are putting the equality in this conversion factor. This is equal to this. The numerator is equal to the denominator. Now, I want you to flash back to what you learned in middle school or in elementary school. Whenever you learn about fraction, think about this. If I give you a fraction, 4 over 4, what does that equal to? And that can go straight into your mind and you give me an answer that it is equal to 1. And I ask you why. Why is it equal to 1? And you would tell me that, oh, because the numerator and the denominator, they are the same, so they cancel out and that is equal to 1. Perfect. If you understand this, you should have no problem understanding this conversion factor. The only thing that is quite a little bit different between this fraction and the 4 over 4 is that well this conversion factor is looking a little bit different just a little bit different that they are not exactly the same thing they we are not writing the same thing on top and the bottom but if you look at this equality they are the same thing because of this equal sign so we understand that this is equal to 1 and therefore, we are making use the concept of one, okay? The concept of one to convert from one type of measurement to another type of measurement, from meters to millimeters, okay? So, I want you to understand that whenever you construct or create a conversion factor, you have to ask yourself the question, is this is the numerator equal to the denominator? Okay, I want you to ask this question to yourself. Is the numerator equal to the denominator? Because for a conversion factor to be valid, the numerator and the denominator, they have to be equal so that it maintains the value of one. We are not scaling up or scaling down anything. We are just changing its look from one to another. And that's it. Okay, so this is something that I want you to understand right now, and I hope that it will help you to understand what's going on in dimension analysis. Now, let's move on. If you understand the concept of one, then we can go a little bit further. So, I am going to pose a question to you, and I want you to think about this. 
I want you to think about that what happened if I want you to change 2 meters square, okay, 2 meters square, and I would like you to convert it in terms of centimeter square. Okay? I want you to think about this. And we will talk about this in the next tutorial. But in the, mo in the moment, I want you to get a piece of paper or, or get your notebook, try this, and then we're going to compare your work and my work and see if we are conceptually the same. Okay? So, so do some work and go to the next video in a second.